Hello everyone, my name is Stacy, and welcome to Bookcraft, the world where my friends and I build things from my favorite books and my own imagination. Let's get back into the story. So today's episode is a very special episode. We are finishing our book, The 21 Balloons. I'm going to go right to the word of the episode. Look at all of the words that we have done in this series so far. Uh, today's word is going to be cacophony, and cacophony means a harsh and deafening mixture of sounds, uh, something really loud, a loud cluster of noises, essentially. Uh, so let's go ahead and put that there, and let's go downstairs. I can't wait. This is like Christmas morning. It's the conclusion of a book. Miss reads a lot. We're almost done with the 21 balloons. Are you excited? Okay. Uh, dog ear, I know you are excited because dog ear, today is the first day that you are going to ride the rails in Bookcraft. That is right, dog ear is going to ride the book line for the 21 balloons. Uh, that is, if he does not chicken out, uh, come on, dog ear, you can do it through the library to where the 21 balloons book line is. Uh, let me go ahead and get you a minecart, dog ear. And now, good boy. Okay, just come on in. Be brave. You can go in. Oh, you're in. Let me get myself a minecart. Okay, and we're off. Uh, dog ear, you're doing it. You are doing it, dog ear. All right, guys. So as you remember, we started the 21 Balloons 30 episodes ago. Professor William Waterman Sherman washed up in the Atlantic Ocean in the wreckage of 20 hot air balloons. And uh, everyone, oh, no oh, bother. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm going to, um, oh, actually, yeah, I can just cobble up. Uh, everyone wanted to know how he arrived uh, in the, the ocean with all of these hot air balloons. And so he went to the Explorers Club in San Francisco to tell the story. And the story he tells is what we have been building things out of in this Minecraft series. Get on in there, dog ear. Get on in. Uh, and I have been blown away by the amount of people who have sent me pictures of themselves with their copy of the 21 Balloons. They either bought it or they got it from their library. Uh, they got it on their phone or their e-reader. They got the hardcover, the paperback, the mass market paperback. Uh, I've gotten so many photos that I wanted to go ahead and share a few of them on our way to the last build of the 21 Balloons, which is going to be the volcano eruption of the island of Krakatoa. So anyway, Professor Sherman says that he crash landed after a seagull ripped his hot air balloon the globe. He crash landed on the island of Krakatoa and the secret of the island was that it was actually inhabited by a group of people who had been keeping the island a secret because there is a massive diamond mine on the island. A bigger diamond mine than any diamond mine you have ever seen in Minecraft. Uh, but there's also a volcano on the island, an active volcano. Oh look, is Dog Ear down there by the, the balloon wreckage, hopefully? Dog Ear? Ah, here you are. Oh! <gasps> oh! Yes! The sky has cleared! This is perfect, Dog Ear! We've got one more leg of the train ride to go to the island of Krakatoa. Uh, past the balloon wreckage and the big globe. Let's go, dog ear. So, Professor Sherman, he gets to see all of these amazing things on the island, like the Moroccan House of Marvels that has all of this automated stuff in it, like beds that go through the ceiling into the sky, the airy-go-round, which is like a, a merry-go-round carousel that goes out over the ocean, now, there are always tremors all the time happening on the island because of the volcano. And one day, uh, Professor Sherman notices that the tremors are getting stronger and stronger. And all of a sudden, a crack opens up in the house and they know that the volcano is about to explode. So they only have a few minutes to get to the raft of life and get up in the air and away from danger. There's the raft of life. That's what we're going to be getting to today. Uh, just as soon as I get dog ear out of this minecart. You did it, dog ear. I'm so proud that you didn't die. <laughs> um, although I do think I will give you a pork chop just in case your health was compromised. 
Okay, so when Professor Sherman sees the crack, he says it was the most terrifying and sinister sight I have ever seen. A considerable amount of powdered plaster dropped on the heads of the families in the room, and the windows near the cracked wall broke open. Now, through the crack in the wall and through the broken windows, the rumblings of the mountain thundered in full force. All right, so let's do this. Uh, Nathan has added a button here that will... Uh, Make the sound of the volcano. Let's go, dog ear. Through the rubble. Uh, we've got to get to the raft of life now uh, to save ourselves just like they do in the book. Now, for a minute, Professor Sherman thinks he should go get diamonds uh, from the mine to take with him, but there is no time. Things are already uh, in complete shambles. He says the M's Moroccan house, full of those amazing inventions, was burning like a huge plum pudding due, no doubt, to a short circuit in the electric living room. Uh, okay, dog ear, I'm going to grab one of the airy-go-round uh, hoses so you can keep up with me. So he says, when I arrived at the balloon platform, it was straining at the hoses, ready to leap. There were many hands extended my way. I reached up and my arms were grabbed just as the balloon platform tore itself away. I was lifted onto the platform. <gasps> Look at the sky! Oh, chicken! Oh, the sky! It's from when the volcano explodes. It says it was wrapped in a thick, huge, tremendously tall black cloud of pumice, ashes, smoke, lava, and dirt, uh, with, I suppose, a few billion dollars worth of diamonds thrown in. The raft of life was rocked back and forth at 30 degree angles by the concussions. Those of us who were near the balustrade hung on for life. A few of us who were in the middle of the platform were tossed about like flapjacks in a skillet. Oh, look! So, Nathan's up here, lending me his hand, and I've also invited a few friends to join in this fun with me. Hi guys, uh, let's go ahead and set off the hydrogen hoses for the balloons here. Uh, and then, oh, dog ear, you're safe. Okay, sit down. And then I'm gonna come over here and set off these hoses too. And now let's go see if the volcano's about to explode. Um, oh, hey, look, it's Finn. Finn is here. I invited five people who sent me pictures of themselves uh, reading the book. And, uh, of course, uh, the build team, uh, wherever they are. Oh, hello there, uh, polar bear. Oh, oh, no, 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 sit down, dog ear, sit down. Uh, we don't have time. The volcano is about to explode. Look, here's the build team. Here's P-Dog Wolf. Uh, here's Jasper. Nathan is over rigging the explosion. It looks like it is about to, uh, to, to go. I'm so excited. This is so cool. Wait a minute. Who's, who's down? Is that Gracer? Gracer! No! It's going to explode! Get out! No, jump! Jump! No, jump the other way! <gasps> the first book we're going to be building things out of, I don't know for how many episodes, probably a, a good chunk of episodes, is called The 21 Balloons. Name our first book that we are going to be reading. We'll carry it around with us everywhere we go. We have, I do believe, 20 balloons here. <gasps> Look at the globe. It is majestic. This is just like in the book. <gasps> here it is. The Moroccan House of Marvels. Yay! One, two. <gasps> oh my gosh! It is just like in the book. We're sleeping under the stars. <gasps> they built a volcano! They built a volcano from Krakatoa! Come and see a sign. Ready? Yes! Oh my gosh! <gasps> We're flying! Three, two, one. Thank you so much for watching this series so far, and an extra thank you if you read the book. And of course, I have to give a big thank you to Nathan and his entire build team. None of this would have happened without you, so thank you. Okay, that's the end of the first book. Tune in next time to see which book we're reading next. And until then, Paige and Molly love you. Go read a book.